Welcome back to the Subspace Games YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Polytrail Editor. Uh, this is basically how you control um, polygon emissions, basically from an object that leaves a trail behind it. Uh, it's handy for doing things like uh, wheel marks and different things like that. So let's just jump right in. Um, the Polygon Trail Editor works just like everything else where you've got the different tabs. Um, it's similar to the particle effects generator where you can go in and set you know, the different time frames and you can set the textures and additive blending and all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, it, It's best to show you a sample, I think, um, of what you can do with this um, because it's kind of hard to get a, you know, if we hit play right here. So it shows you these um, you know this demo of this is what the poly trail looks like if it was attached to this object it's going to be this little thing that's trailing behind so you you know you can kind of monkey with it change the color um, change the length of the poly trail and just all kinds of stuff but what I'll do is uh, let's let's load something that's a little bit more useful we can see how it would actually function in within a game so Shiva comes with a bunch of samples, sample games and everything. What I'm going to do now is I've got um, a game loaded. Well, it's not a game. It's just a scene. But um, it's called Car Game. And it basically is just a, you know, shows you some basic functionality of different things. And one thing I'm going to use it to look at is if you notice as we drive this little fire truck, you'll see the poly trails will come out the back as the tire marks. You know, it's also a little way of looking at the collision detection and other things and the sound. It's just a little demo, but it's kind of cool to be able to see how the, the poly trail can be used um, so that you can um, add some more realism to your game. Uh, we'll be doing some of this in the game that, that we're creating, uh, the ball, uh, ball throw game. And so we'll go into it in a little more detail on how to use it, how to attach it to an object, how to make, how to make it look um, realistic. Um, that's basically it. I mean, it's one of the things you just have to get in and, and play with. It's just kind of neat to see how, how it can add some realism to the game. So I think that we've basically, that's the last thing I wanted to cover. I think we basically covered all the modules that I want to go over. As you can see, uh, you know, there's a ton. We didn't go over a lot of this, like the HUD, and we didn't go over nav mesh and all that stuff because they're pretty specialized, and we should just go over them as we need them. So the next video you see is going to be us jumping right into the game, and we'll start building the game from scratch, um, and we'll show you how all these different modules interact and how you can, you know, get things rolling. So I hope you have have enjoyed this basic overview of the UI and the different modules, but I hope you enjoy even more getting into the game and doing something interesting. So I'll see you next time. Bye.